pumpkin corner. Pumpkin everywhere right now. So how about a southwestern pumpkin soup? Candace Conley back with us. Welcome back. Thank you. It's good to be here. So what are we making today? Because it just looks great. Well, this is my favorite time of year. So more pumpkins, the better. But, you know, people get into that um, pumpkin spice and it's all the same. Well, this is a savory take on pumpkin spice. Interesting. So it's still pumpkin spice. We're just doing a little twist. Yeah. Plus, this is like the fastest soup in the world. 15 minutes max and you've got soup, which is unheard of, of course. Awesome. Okay. So getting into it, we've got uh, boiling on the stovetop. We've got uh, chicken broth and heavy cream. You want to use heavy cream because it won't curdle because of the fat content. It's real stable. And okay. we're going to add, this is your pumpkin puree just out of your can. If you want to be, you know, adventurous and do a roasted pumpkin, because there's lots of pie pumpkins right now, you can do it, you know, you'd roast it just like squash. So what you do then is you're just going to whisk it into, and it immediately starts to turn that beautiful kind of oh, golden yeah. brown color. Everything about this just screams fall, but it's going to taste savory, which I just, I just love that. Um, and uh, I, I've got to say, so Candace, as you're as you're stirring here, I just wanted to congratulate you. You were on Food Network recently. I was. That is so yeah, awesome. Tell thanks. us a little bit about that. Well, I was tapped to do Cooks versus Cons, wow. so it was very secret to start with because they didn't want anyone to know who was a cook and who was a con. Sure. So um, yeah, I did pretty well actually. Awesome. So I'll leave that. You know, you, it, they still are airing the episode, so um, it's going to be watching. Yeah. I will watch. Okay. So this is. We're getting ready to add some more spices in here. Yes. So because this is quite tart, um, we're going to add a little bit of dark brown sugar. And the reason why we're going to do dark brown is because we want to keep it earthy. Um, dark brown sugar is just white sugar with a lot of molasses in it. Okay. Then cumin. That gives it that smoky, mm. uh, kind of Mexican-y uh, taste. And then we have coriander, which is the seed of cilantro, and so gives it a little cit citrusy kick. Then chili pepper, chili powder. And then all you're going to do at this point is you just start simmering it. We have also, which is one of those things where you go, Hmm, I wonder what that flavor is. This is real nutmeg. So this is whole nutmeg and it looks like a, a little nut and you just grate about a pinch in. It doesn't take very much because nutmeg can kind of get woo, out of control really quick. Okay. So, I didn't know that. I didn't know it was so concentrated and such a strong flavor right now. It is, out of the nut. it is. And don't use the stuff that's already ground. It has all kinds of preservatives and just doesn't taste the same. So okay. look how beautiful the color changes once you get all those nice spices in there. And then, of course, you want a little bit of salt, about a half a teaspoon of salt, a little bit of pepper. And see, okay. it's bubbling away. And you know, really, 5, 10, 15 minutes, and you've got dinner ready for the kids to go trick or treating. And they're, you know, they're hanging from the chandeliers wanting to get out. <laughs> and so you say, okay, here it is, ready to go. Well, Candace, thank you so much. This is Southwestern Pumpkin Soup. Check this out, newsonsix.com slash recipes. Put a little cheese, put a little cilantro on it. Thank you so much, Candace, yeah. again. You're welcome. A group